Hi, this is Dr. Samir Shamshuddin from osarxukusergroup.org. Today I shall be demonstrating on how to import a JPEG series of cases into Osarex and convert them to DICOM images without losing the series description. So let me launch Osarex. The important thing to do here is to click on plugins and click on plugins manager and check whether you have the latest version of JPEG2 DICOM plugin which is version 1.7. If you have this the process becomes very simple. Right if you look at my desktop just now I have a case of uh, knee MRI which is saved as JPEG series within this folder called JPEG to DICOM. So you can see that there are four series containing multiple images. It is important to put your images into separate folders giving it a serious description. For example, these images are T2 weighted sequences and therefore I have put them all together under T2 FL2D SAG4 as the name. You can change this if you want. So just uh, let me change it as uh, just a T2 weighted sequence T2 and let me change this into T1 let's keep it simple and let's change this one into PD axial and this one into PD coronal. Right, now I have got all my PD coronal in this folder called PD coronal, all my PD axials in this folder called PD axial, all the images which belong to T1 as T1. And it is also important, you can see that the sequence is labeled from 0001 to 0027. If you change any of this detail, then it's going to be a problem. The images may skip from one image to another image, which may not be sequential if you are not organized your JPEGs. Right, let me close this window and click on Osirix. Now to import that particular case, all I have to do is click on Plugins, Database, JPEG to DICOM and select the folder which is on my desktop, JPEG to DICOM and then click on PD Axial and hold Shift button and put on PD Kernel T1, T2, all four folders selected. And then make sure that you can give the name as I'm giving this as test case and uh, give the name as test case. I always stress that uh, the patient name and patient ID need to be similar. You can give a study description, call it as MRI knee. You can change the date of birth, sex and study date etc. And just click open and let's see what happens. So now you can see that there is a case which has test case, test case which has got four series which is PD axial, PD kernel, T1 and T2 weighted sequence. You can note that the series name is actually the name of the folder that you have given while selecting your images and putting them into the separate folders. So if I double click this case, 
I now have a scrollable data set of JPEG which has been converted into DICOM without losing its series description. So the most important thing here is before you import organize your images into separate series. and then import. Hope this tutorial has helped for those radiologists who are not privileged to save images in DICOM due to PAX restraints. Thank you.